Radio 1, and I'm your host, Pastor Steve Music Man Turner, and we thank you for taking the journey with us today. My God, we give our shout out to our main sponsor, and that's G-O-D, God. I just said it. And so our uh, verse to rehearse is Proverbs 31, and it says, who can find a virtuous woman for a price as far above rubies? Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't know, if you didn't know, now you know. You've just reached our special uh, commemorative program. It's called the Big 15, the Big 15, baby. Yeah, it's the wedding anniversary show. Uh Well, it's that time again. My wife and I celebrate our 15th years of marriage. Where did the time go? Help us to thank God and have some fun at the same time. Okay. All traditionally married couples are welcome Call in at one nine one four two zero five five three five three, or anyone else that knows uh, of myself and my wife has dealt with us in the community, in the church, in music, and in business. You're more than welcome. You've got twenty nine minutes to do it. And so, I uh, welcome to the program the uh, the queen, <laughs> yes. my wife, a fifteen years lady, Leora Chetta. How are you? Very well. Greetings to everyone out there. Mm-hmm. All righty. Well, let's, uh, let's get into this now. As I often okay. say, who is Leora Turner? I am First Lady Leora Turner, the wife of Pastor Stephen Turner. And I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, uh, give us an idea of some of the hats that you wear. Well, one is I do uh, a little missionary work, like ministering uh-huh. on the street to people, um, going out there praying for a lot of souls, one is souls over for Christ, um, wherever he go. I go, and we work together as a team. Uh, we used to do praise and worship together. Um, we just we just have a a lot that we do. We travel together. We work mm-hmm. together. A lot of things we do together. I see. So you yeah. you saying you kind of like the big guy, huh? <laughs> I do indeed. I love him. <laughs> Well, wow. all right. Shout out, shout out. And so, yes, is your is your life uh, busier now that you've married a pastor? Well, actually, yes, I am. Um, before I was married, I was a little bit more laid back. Um, I would sleep a little more, but um, because I am married to a pastor. It allows me to um, open up a lot more about me and what I do for the Lord. And um, I, I just find myself going nonstop. Mm-hmm. Nonstop. So social functions, business functions. Community activities. Everything. Uh, Everything. Gotcha. I think you you were a part of the uh, Praise Unlimited Ministries, uh, which included a Christian jazz band. You were part of that, weren't you? Yes, I was. Yes. Uh huh. And yeah. when the when the church was uh, up and running and active on a weekly basis, you were um, had lots of responsibility there. Is that true? I did. Yeah, I did. I, uh, yeah, I uh, helped um, in the ministry. 
uh, like serving, um, making sure things was organized, making sure that we pray together, and um, making sure the church was in order. Mm-hmm. I see. And so, um, is everyone happy about uh, your new role? Would uh, would you say that your family and friends are excited that you're married? Well, they're they're excited now. I believe that in the beginning, when um, I first got married, because um, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't. Well, they call it roll. <laughs> I couldn't roll with them like I used to, you know. Because when you marry, you know, you change. And I, I'm on the other side. I'm, I'm rolling with my husband now. So, I do a lot of things yeah. with him. Yeah. So it's it's kind of changed up a little bit. So I have to get them uh, to understand that. But it wasn't really easy in the beginning, you know, with friends and stuff like that. You know, I had to let them know that. Um, you know, my life no, no, Well, it's you know, it's not that they're not going to be my friend, but I do uh-huh. things now with my best friend, and that is Pastor Steve Turner. Well, I, I feel good about it, my goodness, I tell you. I feel good about oh, it. Definitely. Thank you. Uh, now, someone, <laughs> thank you for that testimony. Someone has said that it was difficult to do it. Okay. Someone said it was difficult to do with me and that, um, that I'm a handful. Uh, <laughs> do you find this to be true? Um, yes. Watch yourself because now. Lot... Watch yourself. Don't cross... <laughs> Don't cross well, it. I only say that because, you know, when you're married to a pastor and um, there's certain things he like in order, you know, like when you're not used to certain things, you have to adjust. And you have to learn mm. to adjust to those responsibilities in which I've yes, learned to do that. But in the beginning, I found uh-huh. that it was tough, you know, to do these things. I felt like, well, I'll do it when I'm ready or um, I have to do it right. You know, I just couldn't adapt, adapt at first. But I was telling myself, wait. I have to be submissive. I have to be obedient. You know, I I, I signed up for this. I got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you you so, know, you know what you were getting into. Uh, well, as a, you learn <laughs> as being. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. You <laughs> learn as being a pastor's wife because there is there. A spon- responsibility that goes with that. So if you are planning to marry a pastor, you know what you're signing up for because um, uh, there's responsibilities that come with it. This time you might want to sleep. You can't sleep. You got to go with him. That's your road, dog. You get up from yeah. here. When you go, when you go pray, you going to go pray with them, yep. laying hands on people. What do I say? I said, I said, come on, Leroy, it's time to get kind of road. We got to move. Yeah, yeah there's times when you don't feel like getting up. You get up. People call you. One prayer. Got to pray. Oh, speaking of that, you have so many, so many girlfriends who call you, uh, yeah, from the crack of dawn to the. Uh, to late at night when people should be asleep. And I often say, my God, do they, don't they have a pastor? And they do. Right. Uh, you, you cannot burn yourself out to the point where you're no good for yourself. So uh, sleeping with the phone right on your side and then being yeah. hard launched to some folk is just a little too much. So that's where we have uh, battles. Because <laughs> I want you to be all used up. And then once you get used up and well, sick, then they keep rolling. Ah, well, if any pastor has an issue, I mean, give us a call at one nine one four two zero five five three five three. Where the first lady is so nice, so genteel, so sweet that she can be taken advantage of. It is my job to guard. Oh, <laughs> oh no, just be yes, ready. Lady. Be also ready. Yeah, uh-huh. and there's a time and place for everything. Um, 
and, yes, and jokes and uh, where it is. Uh, I have no problem telling anyone no. <laughs> no problem at all. I do. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's where we that's where we have uh battled over the years, but it's okay. Listen, uh, uh the big fifteen, the fifteen years this is the longest I've been with any human any woman in my entire life. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know. Were you a human being? Uh, sorry, sir. And I realized. Uh, I re- realized that um, it was prophesied by the late great Bishop Eddie A. Montgomery that uh, I was going through a divorce, a separation, that life's not over, son, because you're such a special gift to the body of Christ. God can't just give you any woman. I remember him saying it this way. God is building you a wife. I'm, it just floored me. I fell on the table, <laughs> collapsed. I'm like, because he, he thought God himself, busy as he is, would build me. Who am I? A wife. Good God am I. So I waited 14 more years, Lord have mercy. And then I saw this uh, sweet, angelic, uh, brown-eyed, caramel, sweet, long lash, uh, beautiful uh, vision of loveliness, and I said to myself, mm, I'm not. <laughs> "Good God, what <laughs> I think I, I think I got something in my eyes. I need to talk to her. How you doing? Oh, How you feeling?" Oh, and I remember the first time I I found your number. I was going through a bad relationship, and I was it ended. And I said, "I'm gonna throw out everything in the house that has no value," and uh, came across your number. I was like, "Oh, I remember her. Good God, I'm ready. And so I. I picked up the phone, I called, and the phone rang, and it eventually answered, hello, and I said, oh, my deepest prayer white voice, hey now, hey now, I don't know what you're doing. I'm sorry. Absolutely, you certainly are. Oh, Listen, no. uh, uh, I was just wanted to say to you, I just want to talk to you and see how things are going. Who is this? This is Steve Turner. Steve Turner Who? I said, Lord, I'm married, so I got this. You don't even know who I, who I is. <laughs> got to, I got to climb that mountain. <laughs> I said, oh, help me, Jesus. I said, Lord, I'm married. And so oh, I kept talking God. to him. You figured out who I was, and I was like, oh, I remember you. You're the little organist. And I'm like, good God, this is not what I want. I, I need a promotion, an elevation. And so I said to him, I said, listen, I'm going to tell you something. I got to tell you something straight. What is it? <laughs> I said, listen, I've always liked you. I've always thought you were the greatest thing since sliced bread. I've always wanted to be a part of your life, and I want to take you out one time. If I can take you out one time, uh, then I can die sufficiently because I've lived my life sufficiently. Thank you. And I didn't hear anything. I, I thought she might have said, oh, brother. <laughs> and then you said uh, you had a birthday coming up. Sorry. I was like, well, let me take you out for your birthday. Uh I don't know, Brother Steve. Brother Steve. <laughs> Woo, we're back in the house in here. So I'll tell you what. Let me call you back on Saturday. And I'll call you back at 9.01 a.m. Yesterday I was ready. And I said, good morning. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday unto you. And you said, thank you. I said, listen, who's taking out for your birthday? Who's taking out? Nobody. Nobody. The family? No. Friends, no. Loved ones, no. Frenemies, no. I said, oh, my God, I, I must do something about it. I will step to the plate. <laughs> and I will take you out to a restaurant of your choice and a movie. Don't worry about paying for anything because I've got you. I've got you. Yes, I do. And I remember where you live at, and so I will be there at approximately at 9.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be there, and I will take you out. Do you find me? And so, uh, <laughs> to my surprise, to my surprise, uh, you were there at 8.58, dressed and ready to go. I was stunned. I was. But I was happy. I, was, I think we went to church first, and then we went to Fridays, took you out on Friday. Took you out two TGIF Fridays. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. And so that's, uh, uh, but I, I thank uh, Baltimore uh, and to the rest of the world that my wife uh, didn't really like me. I was Okay to go out with, <laughs> but I wasn't tall enough because I was short. Oh my goodness! And so it just—it took a while. It took yeah, a while. Like it took I a 
take a while to promote it and uh, a while to chase me like and take out a lot of breath. I pursued her. Yes, I did. And I caught her. So one day I was going to 7-Eleven and she blew the horn in my car and uh, she made a, a forward motion with her arm. I'm like, what's going on? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What'd it be, what'd it be about? <laughs> said, uh, I'm going with you. I'm like, what? I got there and she said, I'm going with you. Oh. And somewhere along the line, along the line, uh, God must have convinced her, this is the man. This is the one, the king, the K-A-N-G, baby. This is the one you should hang your hat with. Yeah, your protector, your motivator, your leader. Uh, and the one who's intercessor. This is the one who will take you to the next level. Yes, sir. And so, uh, from there on, Indeed. that's why you sit together forever. One nine one four two zero five five three five three. As a matter of fact, uh, I gotta find some music here that actually fits this occasion here. I want to say, let me see here, something spicy. Oh, here we go. Oh, hold on a second. We got another call. Let's see here. Welcome to Elevation Radio One. How can we help you? Yes, this is Lena. I was just calling in to say, God bless your wife for putting up with you for 15 years. Watch That's yourself been now, a hard <laughs> job. That's been a hard job. <laughs> God bless my sister girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you. Your, your calling card has been revoked, ma'am. <laughs> we are. Uh, 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 How you doing? But Leora. happy anniversary to you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. You're uh, welcome. I, I, had, I had to put up with her at the, at the NAACP meetings, and she'd see me come in and be like, Just don't, I'll start no trouble. <laughs> That's a little trouble, Doctor Rubin. Oh my! But anyway, I just wanted to get my call in to say congratulations, and thank particularly you. To, thank you. To, thank you. Particularly thank you so to the Queen. <laughs> you oh, welcome. Thank you. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Oh. Uh, yes, yes, I did. <laughs> oh, oh, she was dragging about it. Right, oh. All right. All right. Well, your oh, call card is revoked, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Are you, are you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right now. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Yes. Yeah, see, see what I had to deal with. I tell you. Oh, a second. Let me, I love let me it. I here. just love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get some jammy jam in here. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Set the mood. Oh, yeah. My. Oh, oh, come on, yeah, oh. I see you rocking over there. I see you rocking. <laughs> you're, you're a first lady. Be careful. <laughs> yes, indeed. And uh, if anyone hasn't been on my Facebook page, you may see my wife on, on the page uh, doing one of her favorite pastimes, which is eating. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. Uh, mounds and mounds of food. Uh, mm-hmm. When I finish uh, either preaching in church or playing the organ, the Hammond B3, preferably. Um, she would come to me after service and and say, I'm thinking she's going to say, wow, you really preached today. 
four. You played the organ so well. All those chords. I love the sounds. Who would never look at the choir? But no. What did she say, say to me? Really? <laughs> what? What in the world? Dear God, I'm gonna get a break. I said, "What you want me to do about that?" Feed me. Feed me, Seymour. I'm like, oh my God. Listen, uh, if anybody's gonna get married, and let me tell you, uh, you need to, I need to check them out. Uh, the first time I took her out, she ordered so much food. I, when they finally uh-huh. said, "What, what you, what you getting?" I said, I, that, "This time I can only get uh, the napkin and the <laughs> glass of water." I, can't get them. <laughs> or I think all our I'm listeners to be know better. Big shot. Gotta be a big shot. If you're listening, <laughs> please call in to let them know. That you know the truth. <laughs> yes, the truth. Yeah, they they see the truth on. on May the truth be told. One nine one four two zero five five three five three. Where's the cast of the uh, characters like Tim Shannon? Uh, let me see, and some other folks here. Uh, Cheryl Ensley, who normally call and plug her. Uh, you're a nurse. And so, uh, where are these folks here who support Jerry? Uh, Royce, uh, who's always saying, uh, Steve's always taking his wife home. Uh, he, 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 he's, he's a romantic guy. <laughs> well, yeah. That's how I got to the big 15, young fella. <laughs> that's how I plan to get to the big 30. Yes, indeed. And so, uh, actually, in a, in a day or so, we're going to be going to a secret location, a fancy four or five star hotel. Yeah. And uh, quiet setting of boutiques and shops where uh, we can uh, commence to the love. And besides that, uh, every year I've got to plan something. And please, uh, young men, uh, married men, please do not forget, whatever you, had, had, whatever you do, please don't ever, don't ever so never forget your anniversary. My God, things can happen. Because I remember a time where I didn't tell her that I was planning a fantastic wedding anniversary. And... Um, I think her girlfriend, one of her girlfriends, called her, and on the phone, and um, the phone rang, ring, and I could tell she was talking to every man's enemy, the multiple enemy of every husband, and that is the dreaded girlfriend. <sighs> and so finally, at some point, I heard her say, "Oh, um," and she said, "I asked her, girl, isn't this your anniversary? What is that Negro doing for you?" I don't know. <laughs> and I heard, and the, all that emotion. I said, oh, my God, warning signs. I said, girl, I can't talk to I got to go. <laughs> Slam the phone down. And I was like, dear Jesus, and heaven, help me today. If I can just survive until 5 o'clock when I got everything planned. Then I heard crashing sounds and booming. And, and finally, uh, a gust of wind came and blew my papers off my office desk. Uh, I went outside. I went out to my office. And I, uh, the floor began to buckle. And the curtains were blowing. Glass were flying. I'm like, what in the world? A ton of wind was flowing, and the lightning bolts were striking in the living room. And I looked in, and I seen the dust storms. I saw what looked like a hand on the doorknob, and the shadowy figure was dark. Work circles of fire were going up and down. And I said, I said, I said, sweetheart, is that is that is that you? And I heard, and it said, I'm going to the car. I'll be back. Now, that time I made my impression for every black man in America, every man, every man, I said, I'll stand my ground in my own house. And I said, you're not going to the car. You're going to come back here and sit on this here sofa because today is our anniversary. Yeah. And I'm not backing down. Yeah. And so at that point, uh, since my wife has several different uh, nationalities inside of her, uh, the, the Latino nation came out and a, and a head, headband came on and a uh, machete came out. What did you say? What did you say, Holmes? <laughs> through the machete at the, through the wall. And I said, oh, my God. And then the uh, the Indian nation, you see, it's kind of American Indian, came out, uh, uh, the lines under their eyes and the feather, and I heard some like, woo, <laughs> rain clouds, it started raining. And stuff. And the tomahawk came out, and she threw it and I next to the machete. I'm like, oh, my God. And then the fiercest nation of all came out, the black nation. Yeah, and I saw her put her hand on her hip, and she heard her say, "Who are you talking to? You ain't my father." <laughs> oh my God! And a sharp, jagged knife came out. She threw it, and it landed between the machete and the tomahawk. 
And I said, oh, my God, help me, Jesus. And God, looked down from heaven, I slapped me upside my head. And <laughs> said, I said, boy, you're in trouble. <laughs> She's blocking the door. I said, please. I said, I need help. What, what advice do you have? He said, what you got to do now? You've got to go and preach and deliver a sermon so that she can understand. Because right now, uh, the demons have been possessed and she's over angry over the lack of the wedding anniversary uh, surprise that she didn't know anything about. And I said, but Dad, I've never been to seminary. He said, sorry to act like you on Sunday morning. And I said, oh, my God, thank you, Jesus, for this moment in time. Listen, sweetheart, I am your beloved husband, and your eyes are brown and shiny, and your skin is smooth as the smoothest butter and tapestry from Persia. Yeah, your hair is shiny and smooth and smells like roses. Yeah, and you are a sweet, a wonderful woman. You don't want to know or blame or torture me, your beloved husband. And so at this point, <laughs> the lines began to draw, withdraw under, under her eyes. The father went down. The, the sun came out. The bandana came off. The glasses cracked. Yeah, <laughs> The head starts spinning around the black nation and she puts her hands off the hip and metamorphosized back into the wife that I had married and sat down on the sofa. And that's how I'm alive to tell you the story today. <laughs> <laughs> Help him, Lord. Yes, I am. Uh, uh, uh. I'm crazy with Cocoa Puffs, so thank you. <laughs> my wife is <laughs> with me for all Holy this time. Thank you. Thank you. You're out there listening. Please call in and tell him about his stuff because he knows. He I don't knows. have my meds. <laughs> I need my, I need my meds. Uh-uh. When, yeah, I, when, I find, I, when I find out what I need, I need, I need uh, several hugs, and that's what I ask for several times a day. And if I don't get my right. hugs, I get very upset. I get very upset. <laughs> May I say also yeah. to those who don't know, besides my wife's a, a prayer warrior, and she also has a gift of discernment, so when I go places and I talk to pastors and other people, I take her with me, and they wonder why, because I'm consulting with her spiritually to find out, is this person real or fake? And a lot of times she gives me the spiritual report after I leave, and she prophesies and it comes to pass. So then, now you're dealing with two prophets. Good God of money. You can't stop this flow. <laughs> oh, my God. one nine one four two zero five five three five three. Yeah, so one would chase a 1,000, and that's what it said. It said two. We'll chase 10,000, and now I feel activated. I feel motivated. Yeah. I'm spiritually agitated. And there, anything else that rhymes with it? <laughs> Listen, if you want to be a sponsor on this program, you can, you can call 410-288-8788. You can go to www.elevationradio1.info and uh, talk about your business for a second there, young lady. Oh, yes. How do they reach you? Well, it's four one zero five eight eight nine zero five zero. And what's the name um, of business? Uh, it's called shopfreemart.com. dot com, and what it has is uh, natural herbs. And one thing they do have is the nano cards. The nano cards get you out of pain. You place it wherever the pain is, and it takes it away. What about bad? And the hydrox. What about bad people causing you pain? Pain in your side. <laughs> Troublesome. Well, uh, that's not, you, have to, you have to pray your way out of that. That's something you got to <laughs> pray your way out of. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, love it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. I think that these are natural herbs, not we talking about weed. We're not they talking about are. Water. Well, I don't do the CBD oil. You call it. There are people in ShopRite that are distributors for that, but um, yeah, we don't want to talk about that. I, I, no, we don't want to talk about. I'm talking about you. No, because you. I, I don't, I don't distribute that, but I do do the um, Shop Free Mart. Um, give me a call; we could talk more about it at four one zero five eight eight nine zero five zero. We could talk about the nano cut, nine hydroxy drops, or you can Ooh. check out my website. What's your website? W 
www.shop, S-H-O-P, free, mart, dot com, backslash, mm. Mm. Leora Turner, one, nine, five, six. You know, you're getting kind of good here on this uh, sales and marketing and professionalism and promotion here. I wonder, they said, Roman says, as, uh, 18 says, orange, shop no orange. And, uh, this is true. Okay. Yeah. Now, your name, Lior, uh, means what? It means beautiful. Ooh. And light, middle name, light Linda. Light to me. Light to me. Light uh-huh. to and, me. And, uh, and Linda, in Spanish, means what? Linda. Que linda means beautiful. So that's why I, I call you beautiful, beautiful. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, to every man, uh, it is true. He that found a wife, found a good thing, and obtained favor <laughs> from yeah. God. Yes, sir. And if you want your own favor, my goodness, you've got to stop, start looking. It uh, doesn't matter really where you look at. Just, just have a prayerful discernment spirit and bring her by your father or your mama. Well, your pastor to confirm that this is what it is. So uh, remember, the fake, the counterfeit comes before the real thing. <gasps> yeah, yeah, and uh, you got the real thing. I say, kind of money. I feel good about it. Uh, I feel excited about it. Uh, for fifteen years, it flies like fifteen seconds, and I'm waiting for fifteen more. Yeah, Amen. and everyone who's and everyone who's you trying to get there, you can get there. It's okay. I spent many sleepless nights, but it's all right. I ran into dark places, but I, God had reserved the light for me. Now I can walk with the light shining on my feet. So I'm beautiful on the feet of them that prepare the gospel, the Christian gospel. Yes. And now I've got light shining yes. on my feet. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. I'm not under my feet. I'm shining on it. Yeah, we walk side by side. This is my bird dog, my partner. Yeah, my partner. And, and the holiness. So we thank you. And uh, it's been a pleasure. And tune in on Saturday as we tune in on Saturday as we talk, uh, share a, the horror stories of the homeless shelter, and an interview with Jay, the original Batman. Oh my God! Wow, it's gonna be something. That should be interesting. Yes, indeed. Interesting. You heard it live from the Music Man, and uh, Music Man is happy to talk with Mrs. Music Woman. Amen. Thank you, dear. So that's one thing. That's a new title. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're out. We got places to go. We got things to do. We got we got things yes, to do. We got we got, we got some loving and some kissing to do. I tell you, we take it off this program. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yes. Prepare yourself. Yeah, yeah. Prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now. All right.